welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do my full sample Aztec Indian healing clay mask so I'm gonna make it I literally just got this from CVS today so I'm gonna make the mask in front of you guys so the um, directions so it says to Mix, mix clay with equal parts of, of raw apple cider vinegar and or water. Use a non-metal bowl and utensil. Stir the mixture well to a smooth paste. So apply it to the face or other areas. Let it dry for five to 10 minutes for delicate skin and 15 to 20 minutes for normal skin you will feel a pulling and tightening sensation. So since this is my first time of a day in the mask, I'm probably just going to keep it on for five minutes. Okay. So this is definitely, it's definitely has been like a big trend it, um, on YouTube, Instagram, just just say the most skin kill to use the Aztec clay mask, so. I decided to finally hop onto the trend. So I don't typically have acne per se, but like like big like pimples everywhere. But I would like to clear up my pores and stuff. I don't know how much to use, so I did two spoons two spoon scoops. Of it now, so I mix it with the water. So this is the color it is. I thought it was supposed to be green. I honestly just need to film my haul. I went like I I don't know what happened. I just went shopping. I bought like so like so many different outfits. But I wanted to do it out in the sun, so it could be like a hot girl summer haul. But it's so cloudy. It's been storming all weekend. And it's taking forever for me to get my stuff.
Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I even have some of my lips. <sighs> okay. We're gonna sit here and let this dry. So, I'll be back in how long does it take? Five to ten minutes. So, I did wash this off. I don't have too much running on my face, just around my nose, like right around my eyes and stuff. I can definitely smell apple cider vinegar on my face. So, that's something, like it looks like I have red eyeshadow right here. So one of my concerns was if this was going to be like washcloth safe or if I should use paper towels. This is definitely washcloth safe so you can use your washcloth to take it off. And I know people, I've heard that, that it might um, clog the sink so I just put down a layer of paper towel. Just in case I, I didn't see any of it floating in the water, it just like dissolved, so I'm not worried about that. My face feels tight. I mean, my, my skin looks good, and it was definitely doing something, specifically around here, then around my eye for some reason. Just this line of that eye. So it does something. What it will do, I don't know. So I've seen people on YouTube say you had to do it every single day for a week, but on the bottle it says do it once a week. So I'm conflicted. a lot. I know it, it hurts. It still does hurt. And it's not like the good kind of stinging that I feel when I use Noxzema. This is something else. It was like I have a bunch of little needles just poking me. It's like a throbbing. Like, kind of hurt. So now I'm interested in seeing what it would do to a heel. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I did put it on my chest. I didn't feel anything happening when I had it on my chest. So I don't know what to, I don't know what to say about that. So this works. So in my opinion, this works just as well as any other face mask. I would swear by this. This I probably won't incorporate this in my skill in my skincare routine. I'll probably just finish off the container and call it a day. But I'll keep using it and I might do an update once I actually master the art of doing it. Not to know. I don't know. So bye. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Toodles!